also being bold and you know having that like strong minded like having like you know bold ambition or being confident woman sometimes like we it cost us too which is very right. unfortunate very unfortunate mm -hmm. but I, I feel like we have to just sh sh we have to show up and and do this yeah. so that way it becomes a norm right yeah. otherwise we're just like oh, she's just so bossy or whatnot and then there's actually i took this quote from uh, lean in this is my bible <laughs> pretty yeah. much uh, from charles sandberg and then there's a good quote it says i'm just gonna read it off aggressive and hard charging women violate unwritten rule about acceptable social conduct men are continuously applauded for being ambitious and powerful and successful but women who display these same traits often pay a social penalty mm -hmm. female accomplishments come at cost mm -hmm. that's what she wrote yeah totally yeah so in your mind what what are the costs that you see for me luckily um i used to work in a higher education mm -hmm. and i was always surrounded with this woman, like powerhouse woman, mm. who are helping each other to elevate, right, our leadership. So I actually didn't necessarily have that, like the cost wise, I had to pay some penalty or anything like that. Mm. And I think our company, we're very fortunate that we really encourage women to, at least I didn't feel that way because I had a lot of support mm -hmm. from all the female um, leaders, but I could see or I could, picture how Japanese culture, for example, I, I know I'm Japanese, but Helen, you have more experience than I do in terms of <laughs> corporate environment. It, mm -hmm. I, guess I can see how women are bashing, right? Women are just being mean to the person like, oh, I can't, I can't believe how any talked like that. Mm -hmm. But like, I didn't have those people. They're all supportive. So mm -hmm. that's why I was able to really like level up myself. But then I could see how other women can say like she's just too much or i really not an i like this word in a in a in a sense like saba saba shiteru. have you ever heard of that word oh what's that i don't know how to explain saba saba shiteru. it's like she's very direct it, it's not a nice word but mm -hmm. i i like this term because i i it's it's a good example like women who are seen as confident or the leaders people also think like oh she's like too much of saba saba shiteru, meaning like she is not really uh, she's not caring right she says what she wants to say is she's not like a not very caring type of person mm -hmm. um and which is really bad but then i think women other women are saying things towards women Mm. which is bad we, we need to like we need to stop this cat fight right so okay. instead of saying something negative we just have to support each other so for me again i i was very lucky that i had that support yeah i love that when you talk about you were speaking earlier about being in a meeting and supporting what other women are they're saying and by, by the way for the for the guys listening for the guys watching <laughs> you can do the same <laughs> yes. right? and men can definitely support women too exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's um you know it's a thing about a kind of a demonstration of leadership like if you if you have got to the stage where you are feeling you know you you've you've stepped out of your comfort zone multiple times and you've got to the stage where you're feeling more confident as a leader then that is the time to open up and give space to other people mm -hmm. to speak up as well you don't have to just keep talking Yes. I think the space for, for others is really, really powerful. Yes, definitely. I completely agree. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> love it. <laughs> um, so, also, I was going to go back to, um, there's so many things that keep coming to my mind. Um, you were saying about people sometimes are in this corporate environment where there's kind of the backstabbing and uh, you know you just have a negative um environment and, I, and you you actually spoke about this on the most recent podcast episode of yours that i listened to a little bit mm -hmm. um I, I wondered what advice you have because i know know now that you're doing a lot of career advice for women too mm -hmm. what advice do you have for women who are in that corporate environment where you know they want to do their best they want to grow and it's just not being supported mm, that's a good question if it's not supported well if the person is uh, if you're working in an environment 
and people are not supportive, one thing you can do is really look for someone in it. Okay, well, I'm gonna say one, so it would be maybe reach out to someone like, you know, Helen and get advice. But for me, like, life is too short, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're having so much, like, work career is something that should be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And the career that you have should help you to grow, right? Yourself. So if you're within an organization where you're not growing, where your leadership is just not there, leadership, uh, the leader, there are managers, rather are leaders, mm. it could be a time to move up to the next opportunity. Mm. I feel like I see career as a, not ladder, this is something that Cheryl Sandberg said, but mm. career is a jungle gym, but <laughs> yeah. a ladder. So yeah. if you, if you have only one stream, like you're trying to go up, but then there are so many people who are trying to knock you down, mm. it's it's time to move to the, the other, not ladder, but other something else, right? That could be jungle gym. Yeah. Um, so I, I always just encourage people, like you don't have to suffer. You yeah. have to do the hard work, but suffer is not necessary. Yeah. And I think, especially in Japan, there is this like, notion that once you work for the company this, i know this is like a little bit older idea but you have to work right with within the same company that was like old idea but nowadays i feel like it is company's responsibilities mm -hmm. to really hold that good talent yeah. and in order for them to do that you have to focus on people's personal development and professional development and all those opportunities that they have to give so if you don't get that it's it's time to move yeah. You can you can be so much, but if you're suffering, if you're stuck, mm. you're just wasting time. So my number one advice, reach out to someone who is outside, but if the work environment is just killing you, it's time to be out. Yeah. 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 It's not worth it. Like you say, life is short. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not about suffering, it's about making the most of yes of the opportunity and it, it's like we we're going back at, um to the to the opportunities right so if you're still in that environment you're staying there you're missing out on all of those possible opportunities outside right. yeah like and it's, a small a small step and then you you know you see that there's a a way out right right exactly and then i feel like <laughs> us as a human beings we are scared of change right mm -hmm. change is scary but that's because we focus on the things that we may lose but if we focus on the things that we gain, yeah. that's gold. So we, we got to like step again outside <laughs> of this like box. Yeah. You don't have to stay in this. There are so many opportunities out there. So create and just do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, you've talked about, you know, reaching out to people. You also mentioned a couple of times your mentor or your coach. Yes. Um, I'd love to hear a little bit more about that, about your experiences of, mm -hmm. of, of investing in yourself for okay. your personal development. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm especially, I'm asking this because I do know that there are women out there and men who mm -hmm. hesitate Oh, to make that investment in themselves or they don't think it's for them they think a coach is for somebody who is mm. you know a, diff a different a different person so i really want you know because i have very strong opinions about this okay. <laughs> um also personal development junkie um, and yes. I, I would love to hear your perspective on oh, that gosh. i could talk about it forever helen yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is something I didn't know that I had a mentor back then. Mm. But it's kind of funny. The first mentor that I have, it was actually, ready for this? Mm. He was the VP of the human development, like talent development. Oh, wow. He said, yes. And then the, back then, company was a little bit smaller. And then one time we, I think I was a manager back then. And uh, we reached out to talent development department. Luckily, you know, our company was very focused on 
development. So I reached out to their department and say, hey, I would like to do some sort of talent, talent or professional development workshop. Can you help me to facilitate? Back then, see, like I, I already like that. It's, it's a good hint and hence why I'm here. Yeah. And, um, and then we partnership with the department and we did like resume writings and cover letter and then also like career management. Mm -hmm. And it was a surprise, the VP, of that department he showed up mm. and then he started talking and sharing the stories and and i didn't know who he was mm -hmm. <laughs> and i think it's a good um corporate em environment where like people come in and they said hi i'm so and so and then start talking rather than hi i'm so and so the vp of this because sometimes we say that and then people think like oh he's this vp or you know all those titles and then people get intimidated so i don't know if it was his intention or maybe i wasn't listening <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway so he it was amazing talk and he said at the end of the talk he said if you have any questions email me reach out to me mm -hmm. so i did mm -hmm. <laughs> i reached out to him and mm -hmm. i i made an appointment and then i i looked at the email um you know at the end of the email there's the name right the so and so and then mm -hmm. who and then i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna be seeing the vp like what am i doing so i was so nervous but <laughs> i showed up <laughs> mm -hmm. and that was my beginning of a mentor relationship mm -hmm. i've never talked about this in um on anywhere but mm -hmm. that was my very first one but he mm -hmm. saw my my passion towards mm -hmm. talent development so he he asked me a few questions and then like i would go prepare 100 mm percent -hmm. right and then we have like really good coaching mentoring um, session for a good two month three month and then mm -hmm. the other thing so that is one thing right but mentors or coach Mentor is something that, like, it's not, it's not a given thing. Mm -hmm. You have to reach out. And then also, yeah. you, you don't want to just talk to anyone, right? You want to reach out to someone who's already do, doing something that, that you want to do. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what I did. And back then, again, I didn't know what I was doing, but that was the start of mentoring. And he actually taught me what this mentoring this mentorship is about i'm like mm -hmm. oh so that was my first thing and then there's another thing called peer mentoring mm -hmm. right so peer means it's like a, a same level mm -hmm. but we help each other to to really i don't know move our level right that's what we were doing like anything with there's a promotion or how did you do to get this opportunity anything that we can we can talk about so that's a pure mentorship and that's something that you know again you she's still a best friend and her name is also Emiko and mm -hmm. she's Japanese but American Jap uh, Japanese American mm -hmm. and um, yeah still to this day she's still my peer mentor and um, so we help each other and she helped mm -hmm. me to become a lead and become a manager and all that stuff so that is another mentorship but obviously like those having that relation you can't you can get there if you really want to, if you're determined, but there is something that you don't know. What you don't know is you don't know. Yeah. And that's something that you need to learn from someone who already went through that experience. Yeah. So like, you don't know what to search. You don't know what kind of things that you need to invest on, right? The same yeah. thing for business too. You don't know what, whatever you don't know is what you don't know. So you can't search, you can't, you can't get those information. So having those people who are already going through that experience and teaching you or helping you that just like cut it's like a shortcut mm -hmm. <laughs> right yeah. I, I i luckily i didn't have to waste my time feeling miserable because of those mentors so and then also you can be a mentor for someone too and mm -hmm. i think that is so empowering and that is also so encouraging and you can also be confident too by helping someone and you don't have to be this expert or you don't have to be this specialist or whatever you can only be like a couple steps ahead of someone and yeah. you tell whatever you have learned hey this is something that i learned from my coach mentor whatever and i really want you to know because it's that relationship yeah it's, it's nothing like you have to have this like license or certificate to do these mentorship mm -hmm. um, but basically that is the best way there's you can't buy this relationship Mm -hmm. You can't buy a book. I mean, yes, there are amazing books, like such as your book that's sitting behind <laughs> you. Uh, but 
just having that conversation and they can like tell you things like, okay, this is what I have learned and this is what I want you to, to consider and all that stuff. So like you can't even buy, like that's like the best textbook out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then I know you mentioned about how women are, or people are scared of investing. Mm -hmm. And I get that because if you are, let's say if you're paying like Goman in or it's a 500, right? $500. Dollars or go man in for um, I don't know uh, a Louis Vuitton purse or maybe a Louis Vuitton isn't a thing anymore I don't know any like a brand name purse that yeah. is a thing that you can get oh, so okay. I understand it's easier for people to invest that money because you're gonna get this yeah but yeah anything with personal development you don't get it right here and then I understand it's very scary mm -hmm. but what you get is here and here it, it's just like your muscle of the confidence it, it you know it grows you get this like strong mindset or I didn't even know the word mindset until I talked to my mentor or whoever. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how I got into this mindset, you know, <laughs> growth mindset and all those things. Mm -hmm. If I'm just living on my own and just living whatever that I'm doing, watching like Netflix, whatever, I would not know <laughs> anything about this. But right. because of those people around me, yeah. And they're the one who helped me, and they're the one who gave me a recommendation. Attend these meetings that were a conference, right? So I would invest myself, or I would talk, I would negotiate with my boss. Hey, this is this woman's co uh, conference is something that I really want to go and negotiate, mm -hmm. or buy this book, right? Um, take this assessment, the Strengths Finder, or this communication stuff, whatever that is. Like mm -hmm. uh, the reason why, like seriously, I want everybody who's listening to get it is like. I didn't get here just because I was being whatever. Like I spent money on it mm. and I did the work that no one's willing to do. <laughs> I have to face something that was scary. I failed so many times, but I failed forward towards success. And this is the reason why I'm here. So I'm like, Ooh, I'm getting hot, but <laughs> you understand. So whatever the money that you spend, it's going to come here and come here. And then that becomes your success. Because yeah. once you have the right mindset, mm -hmm. even if you feel like you don't have this enough information, you know you can get to it because you're going to find out the how. But mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't have the, the right mindset and if you're trying to like study this and trying to get this license or, or get this certificate, whatever, you're still not going to have this right mindset. So you can't even get anywhere else. I'm sorry to say this. It's very direct, but it's the mm -hmm. truth. And I, I highly encourage anyone who's listening right now to really understand like and really shift your mindset mm -hmm. and best investment that you can get or you can you can do is to pay for yourself which is personal development yeah <laughs> I, I, love it. I love it you know i'm also really inspired by um one of the people that i follow is james wedmore he's um mm -hmm. he, you know he has his online business he's yeah. you know he's a multi-million dollar business yes. and people might look at him and think oh he's so successful he doesn't need to you know learn anything new he often talks about the fact that he's taking various online courses online and courses all yeah. the time because what he says is why would i struggle for years attempting to develop a skill on my own that i have no idea how how to do and as you said don't know what i don't know when i can learn from someone who's a few steps ahead of me exactly right yeah. i you know i think that's so true and and the same you know i've, I've um for years and years and years I've, I've continued well right since i was 18 when i first in, uh, attended a personal development seminar was when I was 18. So. Mm. Well, I wish I knew about this personal development when I was 18. I didn't know anything about it. All what I was doing is caring about other people and trying to compare self with others and all that stuff. That's what I was doing when I was 18. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea what I was getting into. My, just, my German teacher said, oh, you might like this, Helen. And I went along and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and then you also attended um, Tony Robbins event too right yes tony yeah. robbins dale carnegie like you know carnegie. And i've had coaches and coaches like right yeah. yeah 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 
And that's the great things about, about it is that if you, let's say, you know, Helen, I know you have a lot of um, great programs that you offer, right? And then if you take Helen's course, you're not only learning from what she knows from Helen, but Helen learning from those amazing people that she spent so much money on someone else and you're getting this fraction of money. Like, true, true. it's like winning a, a jackpot or, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I literally invested millions of yen and yeah. thousands of hours. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I think I was lucky because, you know, part of it, the company sponsored me for certain things, but but still, I still spend my own money to attend certain, because they're, of course, they're not going to pay for me for all the, all the conferences I want to go to, because I have a lot of lust. So I would spend yeah. money or like I would hire a coach, like business coach and, and yeah. a, uh, the mentorship. And now it's, it's a very small amount, but I, I joined a Toastmaster. And then again, that's a self investment, right? Yeah. And I'm not getting anything on my hand but I'm gaining the experience and gaining the confidence and be able to speak in front of people. So, yeah. That's invaluable. That experience yes. is absolutely invaluable. And it's so, well, I, what I also just wanted to go towards is, uh, it's the experience and it's, 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 your, um, it's what's happening in your mind. It's yes. like, it's like takes, it takes away so much of the stress. Right. Right. You just have it like talk about mindset. It's a different mindset. And mm -hmm. when you, when you work, when you do the personal development work, you just feel so much better. You can do great things and you feel yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brilliant and joyful life. You know, that's yeah. what I'm talking and about. I think like, oh my gosh, like I cannot believe I wasted this whole entire time and money for something else. Like that's what I felt when I attended those meetings or like, yeah. why didn't I, spend money on these things it's just like crazy it's just the the, the shift mindset mindset shift like yeah. tony robbins famously said success is all about 80 percent is the psycho like psychological things and 20 is the strategy yeah yeah so if he says it yeah i mean there you go <laughs> you know yeah. it is yeah. it's so this you know What's in your mind is so powerful. And what I say as well is, you know, you know um, it, it's how you communicate with yourself that yes. impacts how you communicate with other people and yes. that impacts the results that you get. Yes. Totally. 100%. Whew, it's hot now. All I right. For this. <laughs> we're we're going to, I think we're going to have to start wrapping up. <laughs> Otherwise we'll be talking for yes. <laughs> many, many hours. Um, so wh what else, what, anything that you wanted to say today that we haven't covered so far? Let's see. Um, oh my goodness. I, I, <laughs> I have like a list of things that I wanted to talk about. Um, but you know what? I think, you know, personal development is something that's very important. Okay. So maybe I'll share. Um, okay. So this from the whole entire time that I have been literally just doing this i was on the journey of learning about who i am truly i am mm -hmm. and just knowing who i am and all those things so from that i have learned several things and i, I know i'm pretty sure i'm just going to repeat myself but repeating is a good thing right because then the your yeah. listeners everybody can like okay yeah that's right she said it and then I, i'm getting it so i'm just gonna tell you this but so my first thing that I want to share is just understanding like what makes you unique, like uniquely you mm -hmm. is so important. And then, you know, this Taryn, but if whenever you go through the interviews and I'm pretty sure the Japanese is the same way, the number one question and probably the first question that you get asked is tell us about yourself. Mm -hmm. right? And then I, I don't know how that goes for the Japanese interviews because I've never really went through this, but something there along the line, I'm assuming, you know, just tell me a little bit about you. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who you are, mm -hmm. how are you going to answer? And yeah. this is where you want to really stand out. You don't want to give this generic like, oh, I am so, I don't know, detail oriented or I am such a positive person or something like that. But mm -hmm. that's not what you want to tell. You really want to say, this is what I am really great at. Mm -hmm. But not just great, but how uniquely great, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have to really know about the gifted time. So that's, that's number one thing. 
Mm-hmm. And another thing is knowing you are enough already. Mm-hmm. That is another thing. And I have, I'm doing a recording. Please take Zena out. Like I said, I'm a mom of two. And uh-huh. She needs to get out. <laughs> and I just don't do it. And this reminds me of a long time ago when we did the live um, streaming with uh-huh. you and, and me. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. And then my daughter, the question that she wanted to ask is, can I have an ice cream? That's what she wanted to ask. Yes, and take Zena out, please. <laughs> No this is real. But yeah, back then when we did the live, mm-hmm. I remember my, my younger one got sick. Oh, uh, that's right. He yeah. was supposed to be at the child, child care. Yeah. But instead she was with me. And then like, I think it was like a 10 or 20 minutes before I was about to go live. Yeah. That's when she had an accident of blah. So I had to change yeah. my life. <laughs> yeah, I got old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so um yes this is this is me i just have to embrace um this imperfection life in it's real though and that's what we it's, love it's like, yeah. i had the same thing i was recording a podcast episode the other day and like my daughter came home as i was like talking and you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's so funny we we were like talking about uh what are the things the destruction that's gonna have yeah and I, I was gonna talk about like com- having dogs come in or something but i'm like it's not gonna happen of course so i apologize and yeah the other thing that i want to know is that no you're already enough i feel like we focus on what is not good at right Uh yeah so then we just like because we focus on things that you're not good at so you feel like oh i'm not good enough like i can't be like this person but the, the truth is if you're focusing on the negatives or what you're not good at, you can only be a med- mediocre. Yeah. But if you focus on what is great, which is the gifted talent that I talked about for the mm-hmm. first follow up point is if you focus on what you're already great at, you mm-hmm. can be excellent. Yeah. So you have to really tell yourself you, you are already great at it. So you can start from there. Yeah. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the 80%, uh, 80, 20 rule. So mindset is again, very 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 important and uh, we also talk about that personal development is that's the another thing it's it's the foundation if you don't have this strong foundation like you cannot build a strong career or strong business Mm -hmm. so it's the same thing so i think personal development is important and again have a coach or mentor who can help you to get to the next level because what you get here won't get you there this is a famous quote from yes golden uh something gold and I'm forgetting his name but this is not what I created it's it's a quote from yeah Smith Smith <laughs> what you got there won't get you there yeah I'm trying to remember who said that I, I know the quote and I can't remember who said it yes but definitely so I, I think I want everybody to just stop studying too much and or stop collecting information too much uh-huh. and yeah just uh just and knowledge it into practice. Yes, the ac- action yeah. is key. So definitely that. Love it. Love yeah. it. So where can listeners and viewers learn more about you, Emiko? Uh, thank you. And definitely her confidence for my pockets. So if you love Helen's pockets, then you may also like my pockets as well. My pockets is I flip flop Japanese and English all the time. I love <laughs> when you do that. It's like, okay, we, we're going into English now and then Japanese now. I just love listening yeah. to that. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and believe it or not, there are a lot of um, Japanese learning English speakers who listen to my podcast as well to learn Japanese. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's like a happy medium, supposedly. <laughs> so, yeah, so that would be. And then Instagram is also my favorite place to hang out as well, at Amiko Rasmussen. Okay, well, we'll be linking to those in the show notes. So definitely uh, listeners, viewers, go and have a look at the show notes. You can find these links to learn more about Emiko and connect with Emiko. And I really encourage, you know, I I often say this, I encourage you to reach out to us. Yes, (laughs) because exactly that's how the the relationship begins. And 
Yeah. And Helen's not going to bite you. <laughs> I... <laughs> you might growl a bit if, like, if you're not like <laughs> most of yourself. I'm like, oh. <laughs> now I'm so going to be happy. Out. Yeah. yeah. Reach out. Yeah, totally. Thank yeah. you so much, Emiko. This has oh been so brilliant and joyful. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love when I'm say brilliant. Yes. <laughs> Oh, All man. right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.